stuff. Well done, Finley. Fingers crossed for yes. you for that uh, BAFTA award. OK, the weather. Alexis is here. You certainly can't be hanging any washing out today, can you, Alexis? No, sunshine <laughs> and showers all day and tomorrow is very much the same. Although there's a bit of brightness on the horizon, maybe for the latter part of July. I'll talk about that in just a second. Helen Gallimore photographed flooding from the rain last night at a garage block in Throop. And uh, Craig, Craig Harvey sent us this shot of the grey skies in Andover. Thanks, Craig. And Kerry Webster captured the blustery winds at Hillhead this morning. So the winds were fairly blustery through the day with some really sharp showers and even the odd rumble of thunder. Showers like this photographed in Petersfield. But the sun did come out in many places. This was was taken in Eastley in Hampshire by one of our weather watchers. Through the course of tomorrow, we'll have further heavy, even thundery showers in a few places, but some sunny spells in between as well. We've got quite a few showers out there at the moment. They could merge together to form longer spells of rain during the early hours of the morning. There will be a few clear spells, but quite a lot of cloud right across the board generally, and lows tonight of 12 to 13 degrees. So the showers will continue tomorrow. They could be heavy. They will be fa fairly scattered, so some areas could stay dry together and there will be some sunshine in between the showers but once again the chance of thunder and one or two really quite heavy showers highs tomorrow of around 20 degrees so on the inshore waters tomorrow that's from Selseyville to Lyme Regis from midday tomorrow until midday on Thursday the winds are southwesterly three to five veering westerly two, two, two to four for a time and the sea state is smooth or slight occasionally moderate through the course of tomorrow night, the showers finally disappear and under clearing skies, temperatures will stay fairly high. We're looking at lows of around 12 to 13 degrees and we could see one or two mist patches develop during the early hours of the morning. So a potentially misty start to the day on Thursday. Thursday is a better day, more in the way of sunshine and a lot drier weather. We will see one or two sharp showers develop during the course of the day, but generally it's going to be a mainly dry day and a similar day can be expected on Friday. So it's not a total washout this week. We'll have quite heavy showers tomorrow, the old rumble of thunder. Through the day on Thursday and Friday, very similar days, although warmer temperatures on Thursday, temperatures are notch above their seasonal average, the risk of the odd sharp shower here and there. Friday, still the risk of a shower. And to start the weekend, maybe some rain at first in the morning on Saturday, brightening up through the afternoon. Sunday, the odd isolated shower, but a lot of sunshine as well, and remaining unsettled into next week. But remember, if you want to send us your weather pictures, it's southweather at bbc.co.uk and there's our Twitter at BBC South Weather. David. The message this week, take an umbrella. Yes. Thanks very much, Alexis. Now, in tomorrow's programme, we'll be meeting the artist who took to the beach during lockdown to draw in the sand, and her pictures are absolutely incredible. You won't want to miss that. Uh, that's it from us for now. The late news is a little later tonight at 10.35, but from all the team here at South Today, enjoy your evening. Bye-bye. Good night.